world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing you a new game called Monster Train. This is a deck builder that married a tower defense game because it's got a little bit of both. Now this is the tutorial and this is my first playthrough. I have watched several videos of people playing this because they had early access to it and I was like, ooh, because I like a good deck builder every once in a while, and I actually do like tower defense. And this one takes a different look at it. So we're going to go through the tutorial together. And I'll explain a little bit of what's going on. So you are basically the bad guys. The, you are Hell's champion. And you're trying to get a spark of the fire of Hell back to the frozen waste. Hell has finally frozen over. We've had to make a video game to get that to happen, but Hell has frozen over. And you have to get your Pyre Spark to the center and pass through this uh, Rings of Hell. And you have Heaven's Priest attempting to stop you. So this is the boss of this area. And then these are his minions, the, the stuff that spawns around. So you get a good idea of what you're dealing with. This is your Pyre Health. When this reaches zero, your run is over. Your pyre ha can attack. It can take uh, damage and it can attack. And it does. my pyre currently does 20 damage per, per attack. I have 50 gold right now. This is my deck. It's the Hornbreaker Prince is my champion with multi-strike, which is nice. Some restores, some torches, and I have some train starts. That's just the starting. If you're not sure what your your what you can do at the beginning of each turn. This little icon right here is really nice. If you're looking at a card and going, ah, oh, that card uses four energy. Wait a second, can I use that card? Or how many cards you draw per hand or the initial capacity of each floor of your train. And we'll go through some of the rest of it a, a little bit later on, all right? So this is your pyre. This is what you're trying to protect. And this is why I say tower defense. You have to put the right units in the right areas to damage and or kill or slow down your enemies so they don't reach your pyre, the top four. Now, I kind of wish this was instead of vertical, that it was linear. It would feel better if they entered in the beginning of the train and they had to fight to the back of the train or from the back of the train, which would be to our left over here. It had to fight to the front of the train where the engine is. I don't understand the up and down. I kind of do in a sense, but just in my brain, I guess, I want them to be entering at the caboose and fighting to the engine and not, en not entering on the bottom floor and fighting up to where the the power sources. It's a little confusing in my in my brain at least. Okay, so my minion has multi-strike, which means I'm going to hit this enemy twice. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put my champion here. 
And this is telling you each four has a capacity. So I've used up two capacity of this four right here. It also is showing me that the at the end of this combat, I'll have lost two health, while this enemy will have lost seven health. Part of the reason why is because this trusted priest is going to be healing this forged disciple. I can deal with that by dropping a torch, killing her off. Now she's gonna take 12 damage while I'm taking two damage. I am then gonna go ahead and pop a, a train uh, steward up here as my second four individual for right now. And I'll go ahead and drop a little extra damage on this, this enemy. Now this is how combat ends. You place your cards and then combat happens. So once again, I have another uh, trusted priest. I'm gonna kill off the priest. I'm t uh, that enemy is taking 12. Now I'm gonna take two and my health is kind of low. I'm gonna drop a restore of myself. And to buff this area a little bit more, I'm gonna put a train steward down here, giving them 17 points of damage. On this floor, they're gonna take another five and I'm taking two. Once again, I'm not great, but let's say this enemy got to the top of the train. She would hit my spire for two damage and then take 20 right to the face and die. I don't intend to give her the chance. I'm gonna put a train steward right there and a second train steward right there to cover the top four. And I'm gonna heal up this train steward and give it some regen. Yes, I am your master train steward. So when this enemy pops up here, I already know it's, it's going to die. Okay. So this is the boss. We'll talk about the boss in one second. So this enemy I already know is dead because this train steward down here weakened it to the point where I don't need to do anything else up here unless I really wanted to. So this is the boss. Um, the boss, when the bosses hit the final wave, they get what's called relentless. And basically they just keep attacking and the enemies and your, uh, and your champions and your minions We'll just keep fighting back and forth and finish the combat. Then the if the the boss wins, they freeze this floor, go up to the second floor, and you have to repeat it. Um, I don't think there's much I can do. He's gonna take 41 damage. I can do six, that'll get him up to 47. My champion's not gonna do it. But this train steward could. So that's what I'll end up doing. Um, regen can help, but I decided, yeah, why not? Well, let's let it flow. And you could see what happens when my champion loses. Now, this floor is frozen. You can't send any units down. Stuff will go over later. And that floor is just lost. Now, the, uh, the boss here is going to survive. Um, I could do restore, but... I can also just kill him with some torches. I might as well, right? All right, so I won. And this is the, the, the points that I got for it. I'm gonna get 50 gold, a clan pack card, and an allied clan pack card. So my clan is, um, I don't know all the names for them yet, um, Hellhorned. And my allied clan right now is the Awoken. Current limbo. Oh, that's the current ring I'm in is in limbo. Okay. I haven't looked at all this yet. What the final boss is and what they'll do. Cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. So basically, if I have a buff on me that isn't going to help him, he'll cleanse half of that buff. And then I've already sped up game speed to get it going a little bit faster. This is the, to uh, the total map. Everything that we'll be looking at all the way to level nine, the ninth level of L. And of course, go into our settings. And you know what? I think the, I think the music's a little louder than I like. I'm gonna bring that down to about 10, I think. That's perfect. It's there, but it's not like overpowering. 
So let's go ahead and collect this. So now I get a chance to pick other cards. So this is a card from my clan, or I can take gold. Um, Corn Break is really nice for taking care of those enemies in the back row. And only cost one. I'm going to go ahead and grab Corn Break time. So my allied clan can give me um, consume, apply a regen, which is useful. Um, for two, which is a little expensive at this point, sharpen, which gives me plus four damage and apply four spikes to an uh, to one of my units, or restoration destina uh, detonation, restore 10 health to a friendly unit, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to five times the amount you heal. So the most it could do would be 50. Um, I don't see any of these at this point being as necessary. I don't know everything about the game, but I'm going to skip it. I'm going to take the gold. Now you might be going, what's all this gold for? Okay. Well, here I can get 75 coins from this forgotten boons. I can go to a merchant of magic at this point, forge spells to gain new powers. I can go to a merchant of steel and forge units to gain new powers. So either I beef up my spells or I beef up my units and it gives me a chance at another unit. This time happens to be awoken. I really want the unit. I need some more assistance this run. Ooh, okay. So this unit has sweep. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it hits every enemy as it attacks. It has 30 health. So I could use this as a, a, a tank, which would be useful or thorned hollow. Um, summon uh, triggers when you play summon game 40 max health. So it's, it would go to 55, which is, makes a better tank. Uh, rejuvenate triggers when healed, even at, at full health. So rejuvenate against two spikes. Hmm. I don't know if I'm if this, I don't know if I'm going spikes. You can, so this is like, just like any, any card game, as you start getting relics and or cards it kind of dictates how you're going to run you know how's this run going to go are you going to go heavy on flame heavy on you know earth water that kind of idea well here it's like this is kind of like am i building a spikes build where i'm going to everything for spikes i'm going to give this hollow and try to just spike the world to hell which actually can be a good run but i have to take a look at how many um hips it takes up how much room can i get my champion behind him i can i but that'd be it it'd be my champion with the thorn hollow in front with a lot of spikes and a good amount of health but he doesn't keep raising his health i'm gonna take the thorn hollow let's see what happens so i've got the thorn oh <laughs> multi-strike huh so this makes an, uh, now you can't upgrade your champion here. You can only upgrade your minion. Um, there'll be other areas where you can actually upgrade your, uh, your champion. Upgrade a unit with plus five attack and health. Um, gonna make him a tank. I should, that makes sense. <laughs> Do I want to put 25? So right now I can only add two upgrades to uh, to in each minion. You can get a relic, which will give you a third. This would give him another 45. Jump in, he'll have 80. That'd make a really good tank. Multi-strike is really calling my name right now. I know, but I'm looking for a tank right now. And my champion has... I think I'll take that. It starts out with 50 and then gains 40. So I'll have 90 health. Woof, woof da. Very nice. All right, so that makes a good tank. All right, Barbed Disciples. Last Night of the Disciples. Comes with 110 health and the seven damage. He has a protector. Um, no damage, they don't attack, but they have 25 armor. You got to kind of beat through that armor. And then the Conduit Redirector grants spikes. So my goal is anytime I see one of these, I'm going to use some type of spell 
to kill him to get rid of the spike. I don't know how to play this. Do I set up on the top and give him time to use my rejuvenations to keep giving him spikes until he becomes basically unkillable? I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if this is the right play, but it is the play that I'm going to do. And I'll put a train steward on this level. And like I said, I'm just going to kill you anytime I see you guys. Okay. So I'm kind of like giving up the first floor. I don't care about the first floor. And anytime I can, I do a rejuvenate. I don't, I'm wondering since rejuvenate will give me a plus one, will that increase my spikes? And that would be really nice if that happens. All right, so he's going to take 10. Um, get rid of your spikes. I mean, he's dead when he gets up to the top four. I'm not worried about it. He should be dead already. Yep, not, not a problem. I'm not taking any damage. And yes, that did give me additional spikes. Oh, nice. And kill you in the back. All right. Regen. I'm getting my spikes built up. All right. So final wave. He's going to be fighting his way up here. Get rid of you. Come back up here. He's dead. I don't have to worry about him. I have 10 spikes. 59 health. Regen. Regen. Keep regening him as much as possible. Ah, this is just about it. Now I can speed up combat by holding down the right mouse button. It makes it go even a little bit faster. Um, I'm just going to regen, regen, regen. I'm up to 22 spikes. So every time he hits me, he's going to take 22 damage automatically. And then every time this ticks over, I'll get five. And I, I wonder if that's going to tick over again. Let's see. Go kill. Yeah, I already did speed up combat. Thank you. But you told me. 24. No, I only got it once. Okay. Um, I don't have any more regens. I can't buff him. He's already dead. And I'm only going to take 10 damage. Oh, just glorious. I'm just going to let it happen. And my champion got the victory, too. Cool. Not bad. 50 more gold. Gold is always good. Okay. So are the... Horn breaker is really nice. Armor. Um, I'm gonna take another horn breaker. It was useful to have those. I like to see those. Oh, this is nice. I know I can enhance with more damage and spikes, but restore health to all friendly units and deal two damage to all enemy unit. <sighs> Apply regen five. Restores one health per stack at the end of turn. Increases every turn. But this would keep applying spikes to my to my main tank. Or sharpen. Um, it's between Glimmer. This is an attack and a heal on the same level. But this provides a better. I'm gonna try the sap. I don't know. I've like I said, I haven't learned everything in this game. But I'm gonna try that. Okay. So Merchant of Magic again, a Merchant of Steel. I can go for uh, Hellhorn Banner and get one of my own character uh, from my own clan. Or the Pyre, if I needed to heal my uh, my the my energy source from my Pyre, this is a Pyre Remains and it restores 20 health. And no matter how, which direction I go, I'll have access to Concealed Caverns. It's an event. And I might be able to dupe a card. There's so many different things you can do with this in this area. Some of them are kind of, bleh, that sucks. And some of them are actually pretty nice. So do I want to go Merchant of Steel again? To gain a more power on one of my cards? Not really. More of going for the, the Merchant of, of Magic. Um, Double stack. Ooh, <laughs> Upgrade spell with uh, and cost. So cost and double stack. 
are really speaking to me oh. right now. Let me see what the, the unit possibility is. <laughs> Steel worker, it's not a bad unit actually, but I've got a much better tank. Um, no, I'm gonna still take the gold. Thank you. I'm not gonna touch the event yet in case I can duplicate a card. I want it to be a card that I have really buffed up to the way I want it to be. A horn breaker, which is free and double stack. By 10 regen for the next 10 turns, I'm always getting, uh, 10 regen. Ooh, that's, that's nice. And make it uh, a zero cost spell as well. I'm seeing a synergy here. I don't know if it's going to work long term, but I like the synergy I'm seeing so far. Up, oh, there's was. Okay. So this fissure opens up. And if I do it from a distance, I can copy a single card. I throw something in, I can copy a card five times. That would really make my deck kind of overbearing and have way too much stuff. And I can throw any card in there. Not your champion, okay? But I could throw in the Horned Hollow, the Thorned Hollow, and have two of them. One are an individual floors. It might be a little bit. That's, that's an idea. Or I could throw in the uh, Wild Sap and try to buff one Thorned Hollow make him yeah that's what i'm gonna do i think but i'm not gonna do five five well you know if i made it my life's missions to get rid of train stewards from now on and all these restores having five sapwood and getting rid of all five restores because this this is free and it's so much better than this Think of if I got four or five of these, three, let's say three at the same time. That's 30 regen. And that's like continuous. And I'm, ooh. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm going to do it. We're going to have one extremely buffed. Now, I need to get cards out of my deck. Okay. You can do that here. I don't have enough money to do it. Or, um, let's look in the next area. Do I have, yeah, Unstable Vortex. If this is available, I can go there and get rid of two cards and it won't cost me anything. I can, here I can duplicate another card and the Awoken Banner. But, an artifact, hmm, difficult, difficult choice. Let's play this and see how it goes. This might've been a really bad, bad choice that I made but I'm interested to see what happens when I get this uh... okay so this is a major boss and he flies between levels and right now he's put a a, a a bomb up here and it's got a damage shield this damage shield will protect it from the first attack that is played against it the next attack will kill it and it'll do 10 damage to any unit that's up there um, but this doesn't, I don't think my character really cares about your, uh, damage shield. Oof, oof, oof. That's so nice. 20 thorns already. 20 thorns. Oh, I am so glad I did that. Um, just for some, no, 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 not there. Put it on the second floor for now. So he's, that's going to explode, so then he's going to get hit. So I've already damaged the boss. Makes me happy to damage the boss. And he dropped that there once again. Honestly, I don't think I care about you. I am going to get rid of your healer, though. Drop another, because I'm just going to keep, I'm going to heal way more than this bomb's ever going to do. So... Honestly, I don't care. Now, sweep attacks can hit my champion. So I do need to consider buffing my champion. But my idea is to keep buffing this guy so that his spikes just become something that just can't be handled. 
We got plus uh, two spikes, deal damage, regen. Hmm, I need something else that does spikes because his, I only have two spikes. I've got a lot of regen, got a lot of spikes. That's got me a little concerned that maybe I misjudged how this was gonna go. We'll see what happens. I like that there's some walking and uh, sounds for when the everything is moving around the screen. I do like that. Um, once again, 39 regen. I, I'm just, you know, actually, I think I made a mistake because it's not giving me 39 health every time, but I'm getting eight health each time, but it's going to last for the next 39 turns. Yeah, I think that I think I actually did make a mistake. Um, this thing is going to die, so that's good. I need to buff your... I need to start buffing my my guy so he's doing a lot more damage. I think. And if I waste a torch on this, it's just going to be a... Um, let's go ahead and do this, because that's... Now, see, that's giving me a lot more... Yeah, I made a mistake when I duped that because I'm actually the regens are giving me a better return on my spikes than the free card that I was using. Because I'm getting healed and then applying regen. So that's two layers of spikes that I'm doing each time. Okay, you die, so I'm not worried about you. Um, let's get rid of the backliner. Now, the only problem is because I cast a spell here, he does more damage now. So that's something that you got to be careful of. Like right now, he's doing three. He had a, a one-time enchant. Encant. Um, so I'm not going to be doing that. Let's go ahead and put a train steward there and a train steward there. Give them something to, to fight. Kato is probably dropping out of the... Okay. He should be going for a spinal run. So this is only going to give me one stack of spikes, right? It doesn't give me any stacks of spikes because it's not actually healing him to health. Yep. So it does it at the end of the turn. Um, You know, what? I'm going to give 10 regen to this to my uh, champion, too. I might as well. And let's kill the backliner. Always, always, always. I, I feel like... Kill the backliner is the best thing I can always do. As long as I'm attacking the boss as well, I'm happy. Any dam- Oh, final wave. Any damage I can do to the boss just makes me that much happier. So yeah, I made a mistake. I should have duped it once would have been fine. Duping it five times just kind of overfills my deck. But they are a consumable item. So it's not so bad because... Yeah, they're already out of my deck, so. Okay, lesson learned. Don't do what I did, kitty. Kiddos. You don't you don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and give you some extra damage. Now the way I'm playing this at this point is I'm using all the other floors to beef up my my tanks as much as possible. And I'm just letting these floors die, because, you know, whatever. Let the floor die. So he's going to kill both my train stewards and freeze that level. And now you are dead. In two hits? I think in two. Drop another one on you. Let's see. Yeah, see my thorns aren't powerful enough yet. I'm not. I need a thorn relic of some sort, I think. Every time I cast thorns, it doubles my thorn. Nice. Enhancing unit with 10 health and apply four spike. Uh, restore friendly units to full health. That's a little expensive. It only applies four spikes. I'll take the gold. Uh, another thorn. Ooh, multi-strike. Very nice, and this is one of those units you'd want to buff. But I already have a multi-strike character, and that's my champion. I think I'm going to pass again. Maybe not the right thing to do. Okay, so then capacity. Um, 
extra cards on draw or more energy. And I think my issue is more energy bound that I don't have energy all the time. I have more stuff to cast. Either way, I'm, my pyre is going to have 10 more attack and 30 more health added to it. I think I'm going to take the more ember this time so I have more energy to use. All right. Hell Vortex to fix some of my problems. Duplicate a card except for your champion and get an Awoken. And then Dark Forge where I can upgrade my champion. Some more gold and I gain an artifact. I only have one artifact. Artifacts can be really powerful. I'm going to go for the artifact. I really need to get rid of cards, but I want the artifact. Cards have a chance to be discarded instead. Now, if there's an artifact, I think that you can get that when you discard a card, it does damage to the uh, front enemy. That would work with kind of a synergy with that stupid duping it five times that I did. Um, I'm going to take the 40 health just in case I made a really bad mistake. Uh, I don't need this. I'm just going to touch it anyways. Let's get the gold and let's go to the Dark Forge. Okay. So I can take multi-strike two. So instead of striking twice, he strikes three times. Or I can beef up his damage, which is what I need him to do, and get plus 10 when he kills something. I'm taking that. Because that's more useful to me. I like the musical cues. Okay. Now, in the regular game, they have what they have called trials. And this is, you know, better risk for the reward. Do I take the chance of giving these guys four spikes, non-enemy units, giving them four spikes when they come in? Which makes it harder to deal with but I have a chance of, an, of a random artifact. I'm gonna chance it, and I hope I didn't just make a bad, well, I haven't chanced, I can turn it off. But I think for a random relic, it might be worth it to have these enemies have spikes. Let me think, uh, multi-strike. Ooh, actually we take that back with multi-strike. I'll be doing damage to myself every, but I can heal through the damage though. That's my strength. I can heal through the damage. I think I think Spice is just fine. Set up on the top floor again. Just like I, I've been doing. Put you down. Put you behind. This time, I'm going to spread it out a little bit. There we go. There we go. My Spikes are going to be stronger than theirs. But hopefully, I'm healing more than I'm actually taking. And I'm going to be doing damage to myself based on me attacking them, unfortunately. Now, I can either purge this card. It's going to cost me one energy, or I can take three damage to my pyre. I'm giving up the, uh, the card. I'll, I'll give up the energy. Now, this little minion right here is a collector. He's got gold. If you can kill him before uh, he flees, you can get you can get the 75 gold. Ow. Ah, it's going to take two of my torches, but I'm going to kill them off. And I want more spikes faster. Uh, because you're multi-striking, I'm going to give you the extra regen. All right, let's see what happens when these guys get the top of the... Unfortunately... Ooh. One mistake I made is these guys haven't taken any damage. This guy's dead. This guy's going to make it into my uh, chamber and do some damage, I think. Let's see if I can do something about that. Um, 46. Oh, it just needs a little bit more. Still can't kill him. He's still going to get in there. Oh, but he's not doing any damage. But my pyro will take damage for the four, uh, the four spikes. Okay. All right. Yeah, no attack. Yep, I did take four damage up there. That's not good. The way I've set this up. Ah, yeah, that one's dying. That one's not even close to dying. He's going to do five damage. To... All right. And my champion died. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I could be losing this run already. 
Let's uh, let's get rid of you. Get rid of. I uh, can't get rid of you yet. All right, let's just hope I survive. Yeah, it was the spikes. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> this could be a really, really short first episode, and that's really, really gonna suck. And unfortunately, that doesn't happen until the end of combat. And kill you off from behind. He's gonna die. He'll get in there and do five. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, no, no, did more than that because of the spike. All right, so boss time. I can't stop him. But I'm gonna put a strange steward up here. He's gonna take four damage. I am going to kill you off. Give you more spice. He takes 35 damage. Give you a regen so you take no damage. Give you some extra damage. I didn't play this one well. I did not play this one well at all. 300 points of damage. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do... I don't know if we're going to survive this one. I'm going to put a train steward down. I'm going to take you out. I'm going to do as much damage to you as I can. Oh, yeah. Two points. Awesome. I hope this isn't over yet. Let's see. Okay, good. Oof. Yeah, I'm going to take only 12 points of damage. This is how powerful regen is. He's going to kill himself on my spikes. Let's see if I... Just going to keep buffing him up. I'm going to smack you with two points of damage. All right, let's let this happen. I'm going to speed it up. Hyper speed. <laughs> nice. Okay, so regen's good. Ah, uh, not what I was hoping for. Improved firebox. I have seen this before in another person's run. You gain seven energy on the first turn of battle, which can be nice. So I'm going to take it because I think it's got a really high cost card. I got a high cost card and vent does two times damage for all the energy that you give. Um... An imp or armor. I'm up to 24 cards already. I don't like having that many cards. But I'm going to have all this extra energy in the beginning of a run. I want to be able to use it for something. And no, once again, sharp has been offered to me and I'm going to pass on it. That could be a mistake. I Like I said, I'm still new to this. Oh, another artifact. I want the chance at the artifact and merchant. And then I think, is it this? No. And this area. Dark Forge again. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it past this boss. I'm already looking ahead. Ah, but to take two cards out of my deck would be nice. I'm going to chance it. I want to see what that relic is. I, I'm hoping Prince Stewart's gain damage shield times two and multi-strike. Oh, wow. If I had a rage deck, this is awesome. But I haven't gotten rid of any train stewards. And now I will not be getting rid of train stewards. Train stewards just became awesome. Okay. So I can get rid of some cards. I can upgrade some units. Oh. Was there anything else to do in this area? Nope. Just... Now, quick makes the the unit attack before the enemy attack. Really nice for sweep units because it can clear a floor if they're if they're low attack. The cat talks a lot. Um, a battle stone. You know, these guys just did get a huge buff. Yeah, why not? And I'll make a tank, a tank attacker out of, let's, uh, let's reroll, see what I get. Endless. Okay. When a unit dies, it returns this card to the top of the draw pile. Strength stone is cheap. 
Yeah, I think I will. I mean, since I'm, I got this item and it makes my train stewards actually <laughs> worth keeping around. Do I want an, oh, actually if I was gonna do endless, I should have put it on something that, that's more powerful. No, I don't wanna do endless. I think I'll pass on that one. All right, next battle, next ring of hell. The next circle of hell, a random artifact. Non-boss enemies get multi-strike. I am playing a spike build. The more they hit me, the more they kill themselves. I will I will make the attempt on this. I like relics. Relics, in my opinion, can be very powerful. I don't know if I'm doing this right. This is this is just how I'm doing it. Um two health, two health, two health. I am gonna set up on I'm gonna set up up here again. I still think this is the best way to go. And get some regen going on you for 20 for sure. And kill one of you at least. And turn. Now at least my train stewards now are actually useful and I want to play them. Oh yeah. See those two are already dead. Give me my gold, thank you very much, because I'm gonna want that. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and regen. You're only taking negative four because of the regen. And I'm gonna give you spikes. And then come down here. 10 health, but he's got 50 armor. I'm gonna start, oh, I go directly with health on that. I thought it went to the armor. That's good to know. You're going to take 20, but I can probably take care of that, too. Um, train steward. Multi-strike him behind. Um, I... Oh, no, this... Okay. So, the other one bypasses armor. This one doesn't. Okay, good to know. He's going to die on this floor... I'm pretty sure, but I don't know if you will. I... And there's not much I can do. Of... All right, I am gonna kill you two off for sure. Let's give you a regen and back another regen on my, my big tank. I don't know if I went the right way with this. I honestly don't. My first run, and yeah, I've had a little bit of a primer watching a few other people play this game. But obviously, I wasn't learning a lot. Okay, this guy is definitely going to die. He's going to have 34 damage left, and he's going to attack my pyre. And that really... Uh, 38. 42. I'm going to keep stacking that so I get as many spikes. So, okay, I need to have somebody down here. He's going to gain plus 10. Why are you gaining plus 10? Harvest. Oh, because he's dying. Well, that sucks. Because she's not... Yeah, he doesn't... Yeah, okay. Oh, well. I was trying to weaken this guy, but... Took some more damage on my pyre. That's not the way you're supposed to play the game. I mean, you, sh you, you can use your pyre to soak up some damage, but you gotta be careful about that. Down to 82 and... I'd rather be elsewhere. Of course, I get this when I don't want it. But I might end up using it. Minus 10 is not going to take a lot. You know what? I'm going to set you up down here. So that you can do some damage when the boss comes in. There you go. Now he's going to take 30 damage. So he'll die on the next little four. That makes me happier. Oh, those train stewards are awesome. I never thought I'd hear myself say that train stewards are awesome, but these train stewards are awesome. All right, get rid of all your extra backliners. Spikey spike. Get my thorns built up. 
Not, not a bad amount of damage from. That train steward's still gonna do 130 points of damage. That's respectable for train steward. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find this funny. This super. Wow, even super sped up, that's still really slow. He's already dead, and I'm only gonna take 12 points of damage. Uh, let's make this 8 points of damage. Let's make it. I'm still taking 8, huh? Um. Deal 5 damage directly to you. Let's do that. I still take eight no matter what. Okay. This is gonna... Didn't take very long. Ah, because he attacks so often. That's why. Split Anvil. I forget which one that is. When you play a spell in the hand that costs less... When you play a spell, spells in, uh, in hand that cost less are reduced to zero for the turn. Um, that could be really powerful if you had an expensive spell. You, uh, you played a, uh, a spell which was equal or a little bit more or something. And it, I don't have a lot of spells. Most of mine don't cost anything. But if I ca cast the one spell and all the other ones are... I'm going to... I'll skip the gold this time. I'm going to skip the gold this time. Um, if I was playing some imp builds, these were really nice. But dealing uh, five damage and applying 20 armor, and I have regen. Ah, that gives me more. You know, I'm going to take it this time. Um, Consume, add three sting spells to your hand. This can be really powerful and fun to play with. Not in this deck, I don't think, but really fun to play with. Um, And restore one health gives me a set of... Um, this could be useful and draw an extra card next turn. Um, restore 25 health gain. Okay. Is it the amount of health that I gain or each time I gain health? That's a good question. This could answer it, but it's also an expensive. I got the thing where I, I cast a spell and everything else will be zeros. If it's equal or, or more. Let's try this one. We'll, we'll put it in the deck and see what happens. This deck is bloated. It's way too big and it's not thought out very well. Let's just be honest. All right. So the concealed caverns, another relic, which I'm interested in more gold, a merchant of trinkets. This gives you six uh, things that you can look at. And I'm really, really hot on the trail for these. I think I'm going to go this way. And because it also gives me 20 pyre health. All right. So now I can buy a trinket that I really want. Or reroll and try to buy something else. But I'm going to buy one, I think, this time. Pyre gets an extra 15. Enemies come with a negative one. Interesting idea. Friendly units get plus three. I don't think any of that really inspires me. Let's let's reroll, see what happens. When you summon the <clears throat> the second unit during a turn, you gain three. Units cost negative two energy. Ooh, I'm gonna buy that one. Ah, the amount of damage dealt, health restored. Ooh, extra health being restored. You know what? I'm going to grab that. Might not have been the, the best thing to do, but I'm going to buy that. Because if I'm restoring more health, hopefully that means spikes, which will give me or just more health so I survive longer. Okay, so when this enemy spawns in, she spawns these, um, these statues. They have 70 health and they're sitting there and they're actually protecting get rid of that they're they're protecting uh her minions and they spawn in each level and you have to get past these these minions oh i can summon stuff and it doesn't cost me anything awesome let's stick that there 
and get started on you. And I think I've learned maybe my my prince one time with that and everything else on the thorned hollow to keep him as long alive as long as possible. I had nine energy and wasted it, so that really sucks. Down to fifty. Let's get rid of this. This doesn't cost me anything, which is awesome. Do that, do that. Drop you down to zero so I don't have to worry about you. Negative 30, negative 20. And dead, thanks to my prince, awesome. And that I think is a uh, is weakening me. No, no, she's just summoning those in. That's all that is. Some and uh oh man, I'm using a lot of energy. Okay, I'm glad I got that thing that lowered my uh cost, the forever flame, because or I wouldn't be able to uh summon in train steward here. Um, I'm not gonna summon the train steward on this level. I'm gonna summon the train steward on this level so that this dies, he'll die up here and then these guys will have a uh, worse time of it on the next level. Get rid of you and add another rejuvenate to my, my big tough tanky guy. I have an Abrams tank, I wish I had more damage on him or could buff the damage more, but oh well. His damage is in spikes and they're getting up there now, up to 12. So I'd love to get a lot higher. Um, 43, he's actually really good. That would kill one for sh take out the statue. He takes negative 10. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. That'll make the next four have a little bit of an easier time with it. And I'm going to sap, drop a regen on my, on my prince too. On my champion, I should say. He happens to be a prince, but he's my champion. Not the final level yet. All right, I want to try this. So restore four health, gain one energy, one extra draw. All right, so I want to watch the spikes at 14. I've got two for that and two for that. But I don't get anything for this because it happens at the end. So yeah, this wild word sap, which is really nice. I think it's a really, I think it's good. Didn't, didn't do what I was hoping it was going to do for I'm still learning the game, so. And you're already dead. I'm not gonna worry about you. But I will take an extra five health off of you. Awesome. That's what I wanna see. Damage shields are gone, so these guys are gonna start doing damage. Then I wanna consider, ooh, here we go. Give you some armor. Eight damage, which you're gonna get back anyway. So you get 20 armor. Nice, and that made because I cast that spell, all my other spells are now free. I can do everything. All right, I'm gonna stick you behind because you have less health anyways. I am going to heal you up a little. You're already dead. And these spells are free, so I'm gonna make you as weak as possible. And you die, awesome. Speed this up a little bit. Ah, three of my energy. But when I cast this, everything else is... Oh. Ah, it has to be worth... had to be a two. I should have used the restore. Okay. At least one of the restores would have helped my spikes out. So, another mistake. Another rookie mistake. Final wave. All right. Get an extra draw and... Ooh, up to 26 spikes now. Very nice. You two are already dead, right? Yeah. 
And when we're losing six health, I'll regen all that. Those two are dead, nothing I can do about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and weaken you. Wait, you're our, you're dead. I only take five. Okay, cool. Oh, she multi-attacks. Oh, she's gonna hurt so bad when she comes up here. Give you some health. Gives up my energy on you. Let's smack you around some more. Yeah, she's not gonna be happy. Yep, she's dead. Spikes is fun. Okay, so I wasn't thinking about doing a spike run. But the cards came. The spikes are, are just... Spikes are awesome. Let's get some more spikes up there. Smack you around some more and I'll get some extra damage on you. Attacks eat two, two times. Oof. I ended up with like 90 health. My tank still had 90 health. Awesome. All right, um, channel song, draw a unit and enhance it with, ooh, if I were to get this in the beginning, like the, ooh, that would make my train stewards even that much more powerful. But I don't, no, I'm gonna say, I have too many cards as it is. Draw or energy isn't a problem. Draw, probably need draw to get through my deck a little bit faster. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna do draw. And I need to consider to go for the health. Um, duplicate a card, get rid of some cards. Gold, merchant of magic. What would I do with the merchant of magic? Make something cheaper. I'm not going to get rid of these. I'm going to keep them now. Train stewards, I'm not going to get rid of. Torches. I could get rid of two torches. That could be useful to get rid of some torches. If I were to duplicate a spell, what would I duplicate? Or if I'm going to duplicate a card? You know, to make it so that I know I can get through this, maybe I should dupe my Thorned Hollow. All right, let's take the health. We are going to duplicate the Thorned Hollow. Wow. And then if I was going to get rid of two cards to deal five damage. You know, I haven't found too many uses for this yet. Unless I were to get it like the very first turn of the game when I have like nine. That's only 18. But I mean, that could be useful. I think I'm going to get rid of two of the torches. Normally, I'd say get rid of train stewards, but my train stewards are free to cast, and they do so much damage. It's awesome. I've got a tank. I really need... Play plus 20. Multi-strike. So three times at 18, or 36-2. Um... But every time I kill something, it goes up by 20. I think I'm going to take that one just so that I, I, as long as my prince is living, he's doing that much more damage. Enemies, uh, units enter with spell shield two. You know what? I don't care about your spell shield because I'm using spikes. I mean, there's a couple things that would make it a little bit difficult, but I think I'm, I think I'm game for that. Give me that 400 gold and let you beat yourself against my fights. So this will protect him from spells, not from regular attacks, only from spells. All right, so drop you. Bring my big guy in. Let's go ahead and get 20 armor on you to begin with. Let's start regenning you. See, this is where I need that one card where I could use all 10 of that energy and just smack these guys with, for everything that I'm worth. Unfortunately, I don't have that. So that seven extra energy is nice in the beginning, but kind of wasted. All right, so I need to get some frame stewards down here. Um, yeah, you're the tanker. You get up front. 
rid of you and drop you there. I need to get you some thorns for sure. There we go. Kill you to get the gold. Take two. He's going to take 50 already. Ooh, 130. Oof. All right. <laughs> Except for that uh, they have sparrow shield. Hmm. Maybe I should have worried about the spell shield, but... I'm hoping my extra spikes will help. I think some of these, I think, I think the top one's gonna get in there, unfortunately. He'll be close. Uh, 90 points of damage. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Get some on you. Yeah, he's gonna get in and do some damage. He's dead. Spell shield, spell shield. Get rid of your spell shield. I, I don't think it really did. Hmm. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. All right. So dead, dead. Okay. We're starting to. Uh, except I've got uh, this guy protecting this guy. He's gonna get up there with almost all of his health. Let's reach you. you. Let's heal you and let's put a re uh, a regen on my uh champion just so that i stay healthy Oof. 88 he's dead for sure 90 see yeah, how that works it's really nice You've got some regen, so you're not going to lose anything. They're going to take 50. That's real nice, but he's got 100. So if it wasn't for all that armor, he's going to take 50 off his armor. And that's it. Oh, that's rough. I hate having... I wish I had... You know, having those vines that I could pull this guy to the front would be really nice right now. Mission on you. Spell shield, which means this vent doesn't do anything. Which means the rest of these don't do anything because they have spell shield. I guess I could have cast them just so that I could get rid of some of their spell shield, but I didn't see the benefit. All right, if one of these guys had died, I could summon this guy in, but I can't summon him in in anywhere. Um, yeah, get me more spikes. Get me more spikes. Go ahead and give me some more armor. You're dead. I wonder taking your spell shields. No, nope, he doesn't take anything extra. And I can't put the this guy anywhere, so he just gets to the bottom of the deck. Alright, alright, not bad. I mean, not great. But not doing too bad. He gets in with two. I'm gonna get rid of these right away. Oh, that passed anyways, huh? No, I Darn it. I was hoping to get rid of his shield. Okay, that's still actually did three damage. <laughs> oh, this boss is so dead already. Revenge. Plus one when, he, uh, when he's damaged. Ooh. He's... Yeah, this is not going to be fun. Ooh, he might actually... Yeah, this could be the uh, the guy that actually... There we go. <laughs> Eat some. Take some. <laughs> because his attack is going up every time he takes damage. Every time he hits me, he's taking... Oh, I'm losing 70. This is the most damage I've taken so far. Let's go ahead and keep buffing this up. Even that... I'm still going to take 69 damage. Oof. Not bad. Nice and quick, too. And a nice 400 gold. No, I don't want this. And no, I don't want you. Give me gold. Store 33 health and apply regen for... It's expensive. 
though making everything else cheaper, I understand that. I mean, if I got this in the very beginning, four additional spikes might be worth it. It's just so expensive. My deck is really out of control already. What's in the next area? It's the last run. Pyre remains. Merchant of Steel. Civil Vortex. Forgotten Boons. Merchant of Magic. Um, I'm going to take the gold, skip that. Hopefully that my gold will be enough to, to buy me some stuff that might be... The Concealed Caverns is interesting. Getting rid of some cards, I can buy that. Merchant of Magic. Merchant of Steel. What would I upgrade? Um, it would have to be the last two Strange Stewards. Though I don't know if that actually interests me. But that concealed caverns and the pyre hell. I have to take the pyre hell. I really do need it. Um, Merchant of Steel. Let's see what what do you've got. Battle stone, large stone. All my people are really cheap. This would make him cost one. But I've got the thing that makes him cost less, so it's still gonna be a zero. Oh my god, am I gonna battle stone on the same? Okay, that is one buff dude. Do I want to re-roll? Yeah, let's re-roll. Spikes four. Battlestone you, I guess. And... Spikes or quick? I'm kind of running a spiky build, but... These guys having spikes, I don't... Oh. Now, having him a attack... Damage shield 2... Yeah, I would put that on something else. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm just going to give him spikes. It's pretty cheap. I might as well do it. Uh, let's oh. leave. Let's check this event and see what it is. I'm not going to dupe a card five times again. I made that mistake. I hope I never do that again. <laughs> Uh, lose three pyre health, get a hearthstone. Upgrade you. No, I don't need that because I upgraded all my units that can be upgraded. And uh, friendly units get plus 10 and heartless. Can't be healed. Oh my god, no, I don't want that. Oh, wow. That would be, that would be horrible. Um, I don't have any other units I can upgrade right now, do I? I'm pretty sure I don't. And you can't, it doesn't bypass. Oh, no, wait a minute, does, does it bypass? 25 additional health? Um, If it'll, well, yes. Oh, so that's one way to bypass only having the ability to put two stones. That gives me a third or a possibly fourth stone. Oh, good knowledge to have. I did not know that. And this is the final battle. So I should go here and start purging any card I don't want for the final battle. Uh, torch. And torch. And let's get rid of the last torch. Is there any other card that I want to get rid of? You know, Vent hasn't been useful, but as soon as I get rid of it, I'm going to find that I drew it on that very first hand when I have all this extra, extra energy. But no, I'm going to, I think I'll leave it. 23 cards. I'm okay with upgrade or unit with quick. Can't do it. Or I would. I have gold, 270. Feels like I'm kind of wasting gold. I, gold I could have used for something. All right, final boss. He likes to take buffs, which I think means he'll take my thorns too. And that's going to suck because I'm all about my buffs. All right, so drop a big guy. Put my champion in behind him. Drop you there. All right, plus 30. 
Awesome. And... Little damage on the boss. I mean, the boss starts with, what, what like 2,280? Yeah, I'm gonna have a while getting through that, huh? Uh, put you in front. Make you the tank, of course. Put some regen on you, but I'm gonna concentrate on the top. Up to eight spikes already. That makes me happy. Turn two and I have eight spikes on my big guy. Down to five spikes, but everybody dies except for this guy here, huh? He's close to death. Put the big guy out. Use the rest of my energy and hit the boss. But it's still not enough to kill the bird. Oh, darn it. I didn't want... Oh, it makes this... I still can't kill him. Oh, no, no. Is he dead? Nope. Three. You're dead. You're dead. Light wings. To make my... Uh, job for my pyro. Okay, good. Now he dies. Okay. Now I'm happy. I just didn't want him to get in there and hit my pyre if I can help it. Alright. Let's get some more thornage going. This is one of my... See, I have this guy out here that I don't want out here. Unfortunately. Get you some armor. Get you some regen. Get... My champion some regen. And let's go ahead and get some extra damage down here. See, here's where some capacity would be nice. I could put that last train sewer down. Thirty-three. You're dead. You will die next on the next four, that's for sure. All the spells up up here, getting as many spikes as possible on my on my big tank. It's nice having two of these tanks. If I didn't have these, this run would have been over a long time ago. I'm glad I duped that that guy. <laughs> Think if I had three of these guys. Oof. I want to get some extra energy. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, if something happens. Oh, this guy's gonna die. Ooh, well. I can I can drop the other. Oh, he's gonna die. I wanna see if I can save him. He's still useful. Get 20 more armor. Now I'm gonna get some more spikes out. Kill you. Kill you, you take eight, and you don't die. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna be using a losing a unit here soon anyways. I know that. Final wave. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing. 34 spikes, 36 spikes. I can't play that. But I can't kill the backliner, and that's what I'm gonna do. All right. I would be able to finally summon in that train steward, but I can't. So I'm gonna heal you. Already dead, only taking one damage. I wanna weaken you as much as possible. Okay, so I'm already won, which is good. I'm I'm happy that I won my first my first real run. Um, let's go ahead and do some more. I like spikes. I, this was not a good run. Do not use this as a a motto to follow. Did I win? Yes, but damn, was it ugly. 
Wow. I need to put a warning for anybody who's epileptic. That was horrible, <laughs> the flashing. Okay, so not bad. I won my first one. And we have returned the fire to hell. And it was glorious. Hell froze over and now I fixed it and it's no longer frozen. I like the musical cues this game has. It's really nice. Covenant rank one unlock. Opt into higher challenge levels. Start mastering cards on victory. Covenant rank goes up every time you win a run at your highest unlocked rank. Nice. All right, so now I get a new card, and this is where that, that rogue mentality comes in this game. As you do runs, even if you lose, you get to unlock some cards. This one, March of Shields, I can move a unit to the front and give them 10 armor. Could be useful. Oh, summon abilities trigger an additional time. That's a, a nice relic I can get. Sack, I didn't even play with any imps, but now I have the ability to pull this card and explode an imp and cause 50 damage to our frontline unit. Uh, conserve energy between turns. Ooh, unbroken horn. That could be useful. Like when I had that that steam spell and I had nine energy, I could have kept conserving it until I had like 30 or like maybe 30 energy times however many times how much that damage was. That would make that vent spell very powerful. Oof, very nice. Awoken. Um, apply two regen and two spikes, add a copy of this. Okay, I was playing a, this is why my spike run was so difficult. If I had spreading spores, I reply two regen, which means that's two spikes, and then add, and then two spikes on it. So that'll be a total of four spikes per one of these cards. You take one of these, you lower the, uh, the cost by one, double its effect, or lower the cost by two. And every time that you use this, a copy of it is added to your discard pile. And you don't need to make duplicates of it. It duplicates itself. You use it, you'll have two cards. You use the two, then you have four cards, so on and so forth. Gain one stack of spikes each time it's applied. Oh, nice. That's another one. Double. Um, oh, it's an artifact. Oh, my God. This is the artifact I needed. Our old root. Every time a spike... A uh, spike was applied. I could have doubled the effect. Do you think how powerful the, I was already with spikes? Me like you spikes. But I've been critical. This has been Monster Train. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.